Well, sad. It In is just a sad. few days, we'll all watch the ball drop on New Year's Eve and start looking forward to a brand new year. But before we do that and move on to 2012, let's take a look back at a very busy year. Here's a look at the unforgettable stories that made headlines in 2011. A great earthquake has hit Japan. This is just a rolling tide of tsunami water. They're watching this incredible torrent of debris. And a new concern right now, thousands of people evacuated near that nuclear power plant. Our thoughts and our prayers are with the people of Japan. The images of destruction and flooding coming out of Japan are simply heartbreaking. It's a live earthquake. Christchurch has been hit by a devastating, by a devastating earthquake. A newborn, just two weeks old, pulled alive from the rubble in Turkey. The reality is drought will continue to be with us, but we need to do much more, much sooner. There's so many people that lost their lives. This is material. You can't replace a life. It was one of the deadliest tornadoes in the history of the United States. Death toll rose again today, making this the deadliest year for tornadoes since 1950. Rarely before has a hurricane barreled forward with so many major American cities in her path. No heat, no food, no power. And it's October. of the world is on high alert tonight is the death of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-il. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda. After nearly nine years, our war in Iraq ends. John A. I love you with all of my heart, and I couldn't have ever asked for a greater daddy than you. There are some troubling developments in Greece where a growing debt crisis could now threaten banks here and around the world. The American people with a gentleman are looking yield. for real solutions. Congress has now approved a compromise to reduce the deficit and avert a default. For the first time in nearly a century, the U.S. no longer has a AAA credit rating. We are dealing with the definition of a bipolar stock market. This is the most humble day of my life. Mr. Strauss-Kahn, a defendant will be released in his own recognizance. Thank you to everyone who has believed in me. The charge of aggravated manslaughter of a child. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Conrad Robert Murray, guilty of the crime of involuntary manslaughter. <laughs> Off, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. It's only when you see it like that, that sort of montage, when you realize how much really happened. It hasn't been an easy year, to no. put it bluntly, but I, hopefully we've become stronger as a, as a people from some so. of those things that I we've seen. I hope so. And, and apparently, according to Yahoo News, top three stories, Casey Anthony trial, uh, J Japan, earthquake and tsunami, and then the royal wedding. So people still have hope. Yeah, that's very true.